South Africa has three surfers on the World Championship Tour. Jordi Smith and Travis Logie have become regular contenders on the WCT, while Bianca Betendach is currently ranked number two in the world on the women's circuit. But for a country with such a strong surfing culture, many believe that more South Africans should be competing abroad. I think a series like this is very important for our local surfers. It's a, it's a great stepping stone to be able to compete, get that experience, um, compete against one another, make a bit of prize money um, before going on to competing abroad um, and competing against the Australians, the Hawaiians, the Americans, um, who pretty much compete in surf events every single weekend. According to Patterson, Quicksilver is trying to grow the sport by recreating the strong domestic series that produced South Africa's only world champion, Sean Thompson, back in the 1970s. It's also good to do a couple of events uh, in your local country before you go overseas. You know, it kind of warms you up a bit. And um, I mean, it's just, it's kind of fun just to do an, an adventure because there hasn't been one in South Africa, Africa for quite a while, you know, so it's good. The second leg of the series takes place at Amploti on the north coast of KwaZulu-Natal in May, while the final leg takes place at Victoria Bay in September. Myra Nyka, Durban. Know more about your world. ENCA.com.